everyone. Welcome to another Showcase Breakdown here at the Palm Hills House, and this is Episode 7. Just to kind of give a little recap of what we've done in the past, uh, Episode 1, we worked on that front gate. Then on Episode 2, we jumped over and worked on that cool little carport. And then Episode 3, we did the front entrance there with the uh, walkway and the cool front door. Episode 4, we jumped on the swimming pool, followed by the barbecue and kitchen, which is kind of connected to the pool there. And then the last episode, we did the master bedroom. So this episode, I think what I want to do is I want to jump into some more stuff in the backyard. And that's this little fire pit area. And this should be a pretty simple build, but uh, it's something I wanted to add in because I, I did want to have some kind of fire pit. And the more I got into it, the more I thought I could make this a lot more elaborate than just a little fireplace uh, pool side. So that's why I came up with this giant kind of half circle thing with a nice view and have it inset into the ground. So you step down a few steps. So what do you say uh, we get working on this and I'll show you how I built this uh, fire pit. Now originally, like I said, I wanted to do some kind of fire pit and I was looking for a piece to make a fire pit by the pool. And I came across this big chunk with the hole out of it, which uh, I think was with the pipes and poles and whatever mod where you can add a bunch of those. So it has a bunch of giant pipes. And I think this piece goes along with those somehow for one of those larger ones. But uh, I guess what I'm getting at is, is the large concrete square here with the hole I thought would work perfect for a fire pit. Pretty large one, but uh, I can't be too picky because I can't resize it and pretty much the only option I had. So like I said, I grabbed this and I wanted to put it on the pool side. That didn't really work. So I eventually came over to this area here because I had more space to build. And so that's why it wound up over here in this corner of the yard. Now here I'm looking more for a, a texture ground or color to put at the bottom of the fire pit that I could put all the flames and logs on. Now, as I was doing this, I realized that I really liked that rock riverbed texture there that came with the grounded mod. That got me on, on the idea of then making that more like a, a fireside area and make that kind of the base ground. And that's kind of what triggered the whole idea of having it down and set into the ground. So that's kind of the process how that's not originally what I was thinking I was going to do, but as you're building, at least for me, as I'm building, I realize these things and it kind of pops ideas in my head. And that's why I thought it might be a good idea to have the base of the ground there, the river rock, and then have the fire pit on top of that rather than it having grass all the way up to the edge. And it makes more sense for a fire pit, I think. So that's where that idea came.
said before with that mod with the all the pipes and poles and things like that that have this cool little piece here that I thought would fit perfect to stick up outside of the concrete just to finish it off a little more and make it look like it was more built as a fire pit and this little piece did fit in pretty good you can still see the concrete on the inside but uh, I wasn't concerned about that what I really wanted was the outer metal steel rim of that just to stick up and you know just give it more texture and actually just finish it off a little better As you can see in the initial first round of using the riverbed rock as the ground base that uh, it was pretty much flush with the grass and that was what I was thinking but it wasn't until you know just because of the texture and the grass that's when I thought it might be kind of cool to set this down a little bit so you need to walk down into the pit so that once again is you know something that comes organically as you're building Sometimes you think of an idea and, oh, you know, maybe it'd be better to do it this way. And sometimes I do that, uh, you know, when I've already built quite a bit. But I think most of the time I'm pretty glad that I redo it and uh, it just winds up, you know, looking better. What I did is I grabbed these curved corner curb pieces that I thought would be nice. Uh, I was going to square off the fire pit, but uh, I don't like to square everything off all the time. It's it's easier, I'll give you that, but I thought it'd be more interesting shape-wise and just overall look if uh, I use these curbs to kind of make a more circular fire pit. And actually the fact that these uh, this one piece here wasn't really long it was only long enough to go so far that's initially as the edge of the curb ended i realized it might be cool then to have the stairs come down right through the middle and that's mainly because this curb piece did not curve all the way around if this was a complete half circle and fit perfect i'd probably leave it like that and do stairs over but the fact that it ended there that's what made me think why don't I put the stairs here dead center leading down into the fire pit and it worked out pretty good. Once I got the curve and I realized, you know, obviously it's a lot higher, uh, the grass level to the river rock uh, base there. So uh, I just used these concrete blocks and uh, I think these are from the vanilla game actually, uh, but I've used these quite a bit. But it has that good little weathered siding on it, uh, with a little bit of weather and wear to it. 
So I thought that might be good to use as the edging. Now these aren't curved in any way, but I think uh, I can get away with using more than one and angling each one just a little bit more each time to kind of cover that under area just under the curb. So we have the curb that gives a nice finished edge on the top and then down below tucked under just a little. So we get a little bit of that shadow coming down that will finish off this curved uh, area. Once I placed in all the grass around the curb, you see how nicely finished off it looks. It looks really good, you know, just by adding that uh, curb on the top and having that grass come all the way to the edge. Now I was contemplating uh, maybe having a hedge around the edge, which I thought might be kind of cool. But by doing that, I think I kind of lose the plane of sight to the pool and you can't really see the fire pit from the pool if the uh, if the hedges are theirs. But overall, I think I left it pretty untouched in just the grass, because I really do like that finished edge that the grass and the curb piece shows. Just finishing up some of the grass sections, and I do like using some of this taller, not really weeds, but maybe uncut grass sections because it just breaks up the standard grass a little and it adds a little a little more realism on some of the edges of things maybe next to rocks or like in this case next to the flower bed just looks a little more real and uh, you know breaks up makes it more interesting and less just plain simple boring grass I was then thinking that this would be, you know, some kind of gas fire probably. And uh, I remember there was some kind of piping that looked like it could maybe be some kind of gas pipes or a way to turn on the gas for the fire. So I found that and I wanted to set it down into the ground there just to kind of give the idea of maybe that's where you could control the gas and give it a little more realistic uh, purpose there. And then I also thought it might be cool to add in some of these stone kind of park benches or garden benches, I guess. And I think these work pretty well just sitting around the fire. I was going to make some custom made couching maybe around the side with, uh, you know, with some pillows or, or padding. But I figured we've got enough cool stuff at the house and by the pool that maybe we keep this a little more um, weather friendly, I guess.
next up, I started placing the fire, which is a little more difficult. A little, it's a little harder than it looks just because it's very hard to gauge distance and to set, say in this case, set these fire flames in the center. So what happens is you put it over the fire, you set it down and it looks perfect, but then you walk to the other side and you realize you're like three feet away from dead center. So it takes a while to uh, place them correctly. And I think it's a good way of using the quapa instead of uh, detaching your, your, uh, your post. Do the exit so then you can come back and keep adjusting it without having to re-grab the fire. That's usually what I do uh, a lot with the quapa. If I'm trying to set something and want to make sure it's set perfectly, I'll do exit instead of detach and then I can readjust it uh, slightly. Then I can detach when I know it's in the perfect spot. So with the fire done and the fire pit pretty much finished, I thought I'd give a little extra touch to match the front of the house and the little lights that we have at the front path. I thought it might be cool just to add a couple lights at the front stairs there. So at nighttime, it lights up, I guess, the entrance of the fire pit there. And that was just, you know, nothing other than I thought it looked cool and it also blended with the whole theme of the house and using some of the same design ideas that you use throughout the property you know just to make it look like it's all one uh, one style build i guess Also thought it might be cool to add in a little picnic bench rather than have all of the garden benches. As I said before, I wanted to add in hedges, but I didn't want to go all the way around the circle because like I said, I didn't want to break that plane of the circle with the grass and the curb. So I thought a couple of these little round shrubs, maybe at the entrance on either side of the stairs, gives it a little more balance and makes it look like it's a little more landscape professionally and you still get a view of the pool from the fire pit and you can still see the fire pit from the pool so that's what i was concerned about and i think by doing the landscaping and shrubs this way was just enough to make it a little more interesting but also uh, not block the entire thing So add in a few flowers and a few more uh, ferns just to go with the uh, landscaping look. And there we have it. We have our fire pit. So anyways, uh, that pretty much concludes the, uh, the fire pit here and I hope you enjoyed this episode.
We will call this issue complete and we will add this to our shelf and we will be back next time. I don't know what uh, we will be tackling. I think I might want to jump on the garage or maybe the living room. I don't know. I, I It just kind of depends. Uh, we'll see. But as far as this one goes, uh, we are going to wrap it up here and hope to see you at the next showcase breakdown. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep building.